how to use the VIX to get the biggest moves of your life in day trading. This is part two of my VIX series. Go watch this video first. The first video is a live training that I did some time ago. It's 35 minutes. I've got key levels there. I've got discussion, breakdown, everything you need to know. I won't go into that into this short video, but pause the video here and then watch the first VIX video so that you can understand what the VIX is about. VIX, how to use it to day trade SPY, SPX, ES to get 100% returns. In this video, I'm going to do a little more uh, contextual information on VIX and two setups and tell you really what to what to watch and how to use it to make get those monster moves. So let's get right to it. A quick recap. What's the VIX? The VIX is the fear and greed index. It's the volatility index. What is it measuring? All right. Very simply, the VIX measures the short term volatility of the S&P 500 index. All right. So it's looking for sentiment market changes. It's looking for how fast the market is going to shift or change. It's measuring volatility. Now, why do we care about volatility or what is volatility? In short, volatility is, is a measure of how quickly or slowly prices change. Why do we care about those things? Why do we care about volatility as day traders, stock traders, options, futures? It doesn't matter. Why do you care? Go watch this video right here. The only three indicators you'll ever need. You'll thank me later. It'll explain why we care about those things. But in short, the, the real important factor is no matter what you're trading, every trader wants their position to go into profit immediately and fast and stay into profit. The only way to do that is to watch the VIX. The VIX is the most used method to measure expected volatility. Not a lagging indicator, not some other cheat code that you may have heard of, no, it's the VIX. Now, what is the VIX actually measuring? The VIX is measuring call and put data on the S&P index. So it's literally looking, engaging, and measuring. It's a barometer, it's, a, it's an index. It's literally measuring this data to see and check on volatility to, to gauge market sentiment. How do we use that to our benefit and what should we be looking at in the market? All right, let's go over two setups, two things that I look for when I'm trading the VIX or whether when I'm trading SPY, I can also trade the VIX, but when I'm trading SPY, when I'm trading ES, when I'm trading the market, what am I looking for again to get those monster moves? All right, we're talking five and 10X moves. What am I looking for? The first thing I'm gonna be looking for are my pivot levels. How do I get pivot levels? I'm going to go to VIX at a high level. Now you can pause the video right here. You can go over to this video. Again, this is part two that we're doing now. The first video is part one. I've got a deep dive, side by sides, levels, all kind of cool things in that video. Watch the full video. If you are lazy and you don't want to do the work, you are fooling yourself and thinking you're going to be successful in the market. You're not going to do it. Click off the video, go somewhere else. But if you want to really get good at this thing, then listen to what I'm telling you. Watch the first video, then come here, understand how to develop these pivot levels. The first thing is we're looking for pivot levels. They're very simple to get when it comes to the VIX. Why? Because they're gonna be your apex moves. They're gonna be your, your tops and your bottoms. Very simply, all you're looking is, you're gonna take VIX at a high level and you are looking where VIX is reacting to those higher time frames. You can also do some uh, higher uh, numbers as well. You can also do some research and understand that between that 27 and that 30 area there, that's going to be a major area where the VIX is going to be um, heavily, heavily reacting to those areas. So what you're going to do is you're going to come into the market, all right, and you are going to plot a level there. That's all you're going to do. You're going to come into the market and you're going to plot a level there in this area. Now you can create a level, you can create a zone, it's up to you. Anywhere from here to about, I would say anywhere up in here. This is going to create a zone for you or an area of interest. When you see the from here on out to the rest of your trading career, this is a pivot level for you. This is a zone. This is a pivot area. When you see the VIX coming into these areas, you will then begin to build a position. You are ready to get into an aggressive trade because you realize that the VIX is overextended in these areas. Now, why can we expect a move on the VIX when we get into these heightened areas, the 27, the 28, the 29, and the 30? Well, primarily it's because of what VIX is referred to as. Now, VIX is referred to as the fear and greed index, all right? And spe specifically what the, this means is it's just a, a, a somewhat of a nickname. It means that investors, when they look at the VIX, 
they can gauge the market, all of us, we can gauge whether or not people are fearful, meaning risk off or greedy buy up in the VIX. Now there are several fear and greed indicators. Again, you want to know about that. Go and watch this video right here. We do a deep dive, but I want to take you over to CNN business real quick. I use this site just to, to make a point here, but Many, many investors, they're, they're looking at the VIX. They'll sometimes uh, on these sites, they'll snap a 50 moving average and they'll show you a trend line to get you, get, give you an idea of the direction of VIX. Now, we don't need the lagging indicator. We don't need the trend line to see where the VIX is going here. What we do want to pay attention to are the price points or the numbers and how the VIX is reacting to pivot levels and the overall market sentiment and direction. Now, you can clearly see that the VIX is winding tightly up into these last days and it's moving down which tells us that one volatility is somewhat pinned in the market and and we could possibly if we're coming up on a pivot level we could possibly see a move in the market coming up soon in addition risk is going to be shifting in the market now we it's called the fear and greed index because investors buy vix futures as a hedge see see they're they're buying in this pool here to hedge against long stock positions. So don't worry, I have a video about that. You can pause the video here and understand how I use VIX futures as a superior edge in trading in the market. You'll thank me later. You can come back to this video when we're done. But the point is, investors are gonna use VIX futures as a hedge against long stock positions. When they do that, it causes the VIX to increase in times of uncertainty. When you see the VIX increasing, this is telling you that big money and those investors are hedging. Therefore, we can use it as a gauge. We can measure investors' anxiety, their anxiousness, their, their sentiment. Thus, it's called the fear and greed index. All right. This means that if you have targeted your areas, if you've charted, if you've done your research and you are ready to load a position when the VIX spikes in these areas coupled with market sentiment, you will get the biggest trades of your life using the VIX. The number two thing that I'm going to do after I understand my, my, my levels here, I'm going to look at the VIX or rather my, my pivot points. I'm going to go ahead and, and draw my pivot or my levels to the downside. So the first thing is, all right, where is the VIX usually spiking and running up to historically? What is sentiment in these areas? You're going to do research here. You're going to look at your, 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 um, you know, your, your data, your research, and you're going to say, all right, what happened Monday, March 13th, 14th, 15th? Why did this spike? What happened uh, the 15th? Why did this spike? What happened? I don't know the 20th in this area. Why did this spike? Now I'm going to do you a huge favor in our discord. Do yourself a favor. The first thing you should do, you should come into our discord, click the link attached to the video, and you should just read just one channel. Just, just stay in this one channel, read the testimonials, just read what people are doing with the information and the live trading. It is incredible. The type of game changing information and the trades, it is incredible. But in the general channel here, I often post our, in our weekly prep, I do it live here on Zoom. It's posted on YouTube. I do it live every single week, Sunday, 8.15, and we go over market moving data. So we are going to go ahead and go all the way back and try to look for what was going on March 4th, 13th, 14th, 15th. And there it is. We've got CPI, PPI, and then we've got some other market moving data. So this is, this is some really good information here. So we know that we've got sentiment. We've got a catalyst. We know we're coming up on a pivot level, man. Now we just need to tie in a couple of other things and we can take this thing to the bank and get those five and 10 X. We're not talking about those little small moves, folks. We're talking about game changing account changing moves here. All right. So now high VIX levels typically correspond with declining equity prices. So as this thing is moving up and we're running up, running up, run up to these high levels, you're going to see equities, S and P stocks move to the downside. These spikes are particularly noteworthy to us as traders. Why? Because we can use them as an, as an indication that investors are being signaled and are actively hedging. Now I've got a video out there about collars and hedges and why they're so important. Listen, you can go watch that video, get the full game. It will absolutely change your game, your, your trading career, hands down, no doubt about it. All right. So those are the two things that we're going to do. In addition to that, we are going to highlight our pivot levels to the downside. You can at a high level right now, 
This is my training chart. This isn't my live chart. I give my levels inside the Discord every single day in the private channel right here. So if you want to come into the Killer Wells, you'd have to click the link attached to this video, join the, the, the Discord, the community, you can get all that cool stuff. But in, in this example here, I'm going to just highlight a few levels down here where we could see pivot points. We could see the market shift. Now again, we have to combine this with more than just a level. We have to use market sentiment. We have to use three indicators to effectively day trade. And guess what? It's not MACD, RSI, T, and Squeeze, EMA, SMA. No, 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 no. It's not that stuff. That's not how we go to the bank every single day. All right. It's more than that. But here's what we know. All right. We've got our, we're talking about the five and 10X moves. Big, big moves here. We've got our pivot points to the upside. We've got our pivot points to the downside. Now we just need to understand market sentiment and volume and when to get into a trade. You do that and you are going to go to the bank over and over and over again. This is just a short video on VIX, how to use the VIX to get the biggest moves of your life. The first thing, get your targets to the upside, get your targets to the downside, calculate market sentiment and understand when we have the catalysts. All right, going up, get my levels up here, get my levels down here. I'm going to chart it. I'm using these as my zones or my pivot points. And then I'm watching for the catalyst. Those are the three things that I would do that I do every single day with the VIX. Watch the first video to go a deeper dive, do a deeper dive in the VIX, and then do yourself a favor. I'm going to say it all the time. This is where the cool kids are. Come inside the Discord and crush this thing. We are crushing it every single day, guys. It's been a pleasure. This is just a, a video part two. Watch part three. We're going to do a deep dive on VIX futures next.